made it. It was a long drive throughout the night, but that's what you got to do sometimes to uh, get to remote areas. And sometimes when you don't have a whole week to go, you know, and now we just have two days to fish. So we had to drive throughout the night, but we're here. It's actually really early still. It's like 4 a.m., but the sun rises. I think today's the longest day of the year. It just rises so early this time. But I'm gonna get the boat ready here. We're putting on down diggers, we're putting on our rod holders. I just, it's cold, like the air temp is 39 degrees right now, which is pretty indicative of what the water temperature is gonna be too. So um, I don't know what these fish are gonna be doing. I think if it's 39, 40, 41 degrees, they're gonna be deep. So we have jigging rods, we have bonnie baits, but we're also gonna bring trolling gear just in case. So it's our first big open water trip of the year. We're gonna see what happens. Um, ideally, it's gonna be a casting jigging bite, but we're bringing trolling gear just in case. Got trolling spoons, we have jigs, anywhere from one to four ounces. Box full of bonnie baits. Ideally, that's what these trout are gonna bite on. Don't know though, but that's the plan. Gonna tackle in there to start our own bait store. Um, we're good. Wow, is it gorgeous out here right now? Welcome to season three of Superior Angling TV, brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. All right, we made her out here. So, now what? That is a great, great question. Open waters were 39, 38 to 41 degrees. Super, super cold. The majority of it was 38, so I mean, it's unbelievable how, like it's as cold as it was in March. It hasn't warmed up and it's late June right now. So, right now we're 47. To me, I'm guessing these trout are gonna be deep, just based off of experience. To me, I think they're gonna be in that transition period where they're coming out of deep water and going shallow, but I just don't think they're gonna be that shallow yet. I don't know if I see fish down there, or big boulders, I can't really tell. And again, I'm going off of no information. I've never fished here in my life. I've talked to one person that's fished here. So, um, and yeah, it's not like we're going off of GPS coordinates or any relevant current information. We're the only boat out here. So that's what I like though. It's fun. I love being the only boat and figuring out a pattern. Um, and again, you can try to catch these fish any way you want to. Um, trolling, jigging, casting, whatever you want to do. Right now, we're going to start out by casting because that's the most fun to me. We have a rod locker full of casting and trolling rods, um, you know, so we're, we're ready for battle, um, but I'm just gonna start out using bounty baits because to feel a big lake trout hit on a big rod like this and a big bondy is 10 times as fun as catching a trolling. So I don't know, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna fish this five, 10 minutes. If nothing, we're going to uh, get on the move and probably start trolling just to try to find an area and find out what depth these fish are at because I totally have no idea.
right there. <laughs> I just got bumped a second ago and I told Josh to grab the camera and he came back and whacked it. Oh man, we're about an hour and a half into our day. 100 feet of water right now. This is the first piece of the puzzle. I always say that first fish is the hardest to get. It's not, the, it's not that big of one, but. Look at that. How fun is that? That's a heavy fish. That thing is thick, holy cow. Isn't that awesome? Oh, that first fish is such a relief, man. I can't even tell you. You're out here on no sleep, you're so tired, it's, you lose a lot of your mental capacity and ability to concentrate and really put a pattern together, so it's, it's just another added challenge to the equation, but look at that fish. That is thick and heavy, that is a Siskoit lake trout, you can see how short its nose is. That fish lives the majority of its life down in the rocks. So it's gonna be down there eating eel pout. That's why their noses are so short because they're banging them against the rocks eating fish. I think it was 10 pounds. It's not very long, but it is just thick. Isn't that cool? Man, he's got scratch marks on his gill from being down in the rocks. That is a Siskiyou Lake Trout all day long. And the first piece of the puzzle out here in the middle of nowhere. Look at that. Fun, not a giant, but I'm happy with this fish because all on our own, all by yourself, that's awesome. Here we go. There you go. You got him? Yep. That a boy. I got one too. Here we go, <laughs> doubles. <laughs> Unreal, huh? <laughs> I was going back to put my rod in the rod holder. Oh, I just lost mine. No. Well, you can be my net man then. Yeah, I suppose, huh? He's starting to feel like it has some weight to it. The water is cold, and these fish are low in the water column. It doesn't surprise me, though. What does surprise me is 38 degree water temps at the end of June. I mean, that's just mind blowing. That's a thick fish, man. These fish are, don't have tons of length, but just their girth is, bleh. Look at that baby. Look at that thing. That's a lake monster. <laughs> I bet that fish is not even 36 inches long and I guarantee you it weighs 15, 16 pounds. I want to see a 40 incher of these. That would be incredible. But look at that big girl. Oh, there's a big white fish in his gullet too. <laughs> look at that fish. Oh, I just can't tell you. I'm going to get this girl back in, but I just, just like the amount of risk and preparation and planning and everything that goes into a trip like this. And you could come out here and not catch a thing. And here we are catching absolute toads. I mean, these are ugly, fat, awesome lake trout. It doesn't get any better than that. Huh. That's rewarding, it is so rewarding. Out here all on our own, we're not gonna see another boat. That's what I love. Lake Superior, biggest lake in the world, it's ours to explore. Look at that. I literally didn't even hit the bottom. I mean, I just, I felt something funny. Yeah, this is a nicer fish here. I felt something funny and just clicked the bail and there's a fish on there. It's crazy how many fish are in this one area. I mean, this is a heavy fish. This is a heavy fish. Oh man, this feels like the first one that I lost. I was pretty heartbroken when I lost that one, but 
Maybe this one will be a competitor. Oh, there he comes. No way. Two fish. Two fish. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> what? No way. Two for one. Look at that. You don't see that every day. <laughs> Oh my. I caught mama and her son, it looks like. <laughs> what? That is crazy. That proves you how many fish are down there. I mean, we're not exaggerating at all. It's ridiculous how many fish are down there. Yeah, I can't say I've ever seen that. I'm sure it's happened, but I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh my gosh. You do not see that every day. Two for one on the Bondi bait. <laughs> I thought it felt kind of weird too. I mean, it wasn't really fighting that much and kind of felt like I was pulling in a log. Well, two fish, that explains that. Unreal. I cannot believe this. When we care about something, it shows. To help protect these things, call on the knowledge and experience of a local independent insurance agent that you know and trust. Some things we just can't afford to lose. And that is why we exist because the worst brings out our best. Holden Insurance, Duluth and Superior. It's summer again at Marine General and we're here to get you on the water. Kayaks, canoes and paddle boards, water sports, knee boards, wetsuits, ropes and leg vests, rain gear, marine safety, electronics of all kinds, rods and reels, rolling motors, rod holders, and all kinds of accessories for your boat, live bait, lures, and a crew that appreciates your Come business. Your way of life means everything to you. That's why we put our everything into fueling. We're here for you. Every moment, every day, every season with a dependable propane supply and competitive pricing plans that fit your budget. Superior fuel. Switch and save up to $500 annually on your propane. Visit savewithsuperior.com. At Wittis Trailer Sales, customer experience and satisfaction is our top priority. Located in Esco, Minnesota, we stock a full lineup of enclosed trailers, snowmobile trailers, and cargo trailers from brands such as Aluma, Look, Pace, and more. While you're here, shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors in the area. Our skilled parts and service team is here to tackle all your repair needs. Wittis Trailer Sales in Esco, where customers become friends. And so this right here, that's what you want to see. It almost looks like it's not a, it's the, the transducer beam's not going straight down and getting a straight return back. So if you do that, it's going to be like a red, means your strongest return. It's going to be different in every graph, but as you can see here, like that transducer beam's getting, it's hitting like tips of rocks and different in various places. So you're going to have kind of a yellow line and there's going to be space in between and then you're going to have another line. So that's kind of what it looks like. Um, but that's what you want. That's those big boulders down there. Again, if there's ledge rock or you know just shelf rock, it's not going to hold fish. So um, that's kind of that's what you want to see. Um, again, it's the same as what we saw when we were bass fishing um, during season one. We did an episode um, early season smallmouth where these bass were living down on the rocks. So I mean, it looks identical to that. So um, almost like I, I think Mike said, little spaghetti noodles down there. So. There's space in between, there's yellow, that's what those fish are down there hiding in, and that's what you want. Look at the colors on that guy. That is wild. That's my favorite part about lake trout is every fish is so unique and so different. I mean, 
You're never gonna catch two trout that look identical. That is absolutely beautiful. Red fins on it. Look at how big that front fin is. Looks like those fish we caught last summer. You never know what swims down there. It's a long ways down on a big, big body of water. That's a cool fish. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty good fish. Jeez, it's like pulling up a rock. Well, we're definitely on them again. That's good, they're still here. Absolutely unreal. These fish, I mean, it's ridiculous. Everyone has that huge stomach on it. But this one's just a little bit longer. We're getting there. We're getting there. So hopefully we can put an even bigger one on the boat, but. It feels heavy, like. So hard to tell, it's so deceiving but it feels good. The spot locked in our area here. Big musky gear. And I mean, yes, you could use lighter line and lighter rods, but you need some heavy gear to handle these big lures. And what's nice is these lures get down there fast. You know, they're 12, 16 ounces, so they, they get down there fast. Oh, baby. Look at that big Lake Superior lake trout. That's huge. Not long, but just the girth on these fish is out of this world. There you go, girl. Man alive. That's a big Lake Superior trout right there. Ice cold. These fish, I bet that water down there is 33 degrees. Look at that. Unbelievable. Middle of nowhere, Lake Superior. And big old donkeys like that. Woo! That feels good. That feels good. I like it. That's a fish right there. Oh. <laughs> it's like a whale going down. Look at her. That is so cool. Look at her. Just long path back to the bottom. Oh, my hands are numb. It is cold out here. That sun's hot, but our water's so cold that just makes everything just freezing. Oh, but is that worth it? Oh, what a beautiful day. I can't even begin to describe how exhilarating this is. Out here on our own, doing something different, taking a chance, and fish like that. Not every, but I'd say about 90% of the fish that we've caught have had a tail sticking out of their throat. So they're down there feeding. I pulled one out, this is what they are. Look at that. And this is like three quarters of the fish only. Like its whole head is missing, but I mean, look at that. What they're eating, and that was, this is from like a six pound fish. What they're eating is twice as big as a Bondi bait. So by no means are these baits too big. They're heavy, they sink fast, they're a great bait to use, but Look at that. I can't even really, I think it's a big uh, herring is what it looks like. I mean, that's big. That's huge. And what those lake trout will do is sit down in the rocks, like hide. And when the bait fish swims over them, they jump out and eat them. So, you know, in the wide open waters, a, a lake trout would have somewhat trouble catching a, a herring or a, a white fish on its own. But when they're sitting down in the rocks, they can come up and ambush them. That's why out here on these big reefs, these fish are so low. One, because of the water temperature, but two, because it's their ambush spot. Oh, I think it's fat. Just fat. Oh my gosh. Holy Not God. super lengthy, but yeah, he is fat. Holy smokes. Ooh. 
just crazy. I mean, the ones we've been catching aren't super lengthy, but the girth on these fish are ridiculous. It's like they ate a football. Unreal. Super fun to catch these guys. There we go. Let's get her back in the water here. They're as spunky as the other fish. This one will go right down right away. Straight to the bottom. Wow, is that fun. Holy smokes. These things, hogs, ridiculous. Not as big as I thought it was, but still a great fish. I mean, look how wide and thick these things are. That's incredible. I could fish out here all week and catch these things. <laughs> Might have some sore wrists and sore arms, but man, are they cool fish. Back home they go. I don't know how much of this jigging stuff I can do. I'm getting tired. It feels pretty heavy. Again, you just gotta let your lure free fall into the rocks. That's what these trout like. You know, it's kind of something different for them, you know? I mean, even on at times where it's, you know, high noon like this with no wind and bright skies, if you're up above the rocks moving too fast, they're just kind of lethargic fish and they're not going to come up and eat. Lake trout are very opportunistic feeders who don't like to spend energy if they don't have to. So by free falling our lures down into the rocks, they're taking advantage of an easy meal. That's why jigging on days like this can help produce trolling too because the fish don't really have to work for it. You're putting the food right in front of their mouth. And we just went through a spot on the graph where it was shelf rock, very strong signal return and we didn't get bit, and as soon as we got into the boulders again, it was fish on. That's a good fish. Look at that. Man, what a fish. This spring, shop the great selection of Lund and Crestliner fishing boats at RJ Sport and Cycle. Our knowledgeable staff is here to answer all your questions and help you get on the water. We sell both aluminum and fiberglass boats suitable for a variety of applications. Full windshield models, side consoles, tillers, and more. We sell them all. Don't forget, we also carry pontoons. RJ Sport and Cycle is your leading Lund dealer in the area. Visit us in store or check us out online today. From opening weekend to the end of the season, you want every outing to be a success. Amsoil Synthetic Lubricants provide next level engine protection, both on the lake and on your way to it. Keep your mind on what's important this weekend. Choose Amsoil. Reliable as your favorite lure and as dependable as your secret spot. Visit Amsoil.com to find Amsoil products near you. I got whacked. Yeah. I felt it. I think this could be big. I had, I bet my cast was, I don't know, 100 feet. I let my lure free fall to bottom. My bail was open. And 
that fish hit so hard, I felt that bite go through my line and it vibrated my rod. Like, that's ridiculous. This could be big, this could be really big. I can't do much with it right now, I'm just kind of feeding that line. I can't believe that bite. I've never felt a bite like that on bondy baits before. Like, funk. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know how big it is and I really, really, really want to see it. It's just kind of holding down there. I don't know, but this feels 30, I don't, I, I don't even want to say a weight. It feels big. I just want to see it. Like, I don't care if I lose them after I see them. I just want to see them. It's like, yeah. Uh, I don't even want to say the L word. Oh, I'm nervous right now. I can't, I haven't gained an inch on this fish. I'm just feeding it line. It's swimming off the reef right now. The reef is behind us and it's swimming off in the deep water. It doesn't want to come up. This is what it's about though, I mean, coming out here, it's not what we expected. Water's cold, fish are deeper. We're adjusting, we're making it happen. Haven't ate breakfast, haven't brushed my teeth. Just get out here and do it, you know? That's a big fish, man. That's nothing tiny. Look at that. That's a big lake trout. Woo! That's awesome. Just the relief right there. Woo! Is that fun? Look at that. Woo! Oh my goodness. Huge, not long, but just massive how thick the girth on these fish Mwah, thank you girl Woo! that makes it all worth it that makes the whole trip worth it right there that fish that is so special